up guys, my name is Johnny Bean. Today I'm going to show you all how to load the wire, the weed eater wire, the string trimmer wire on my Cobalt 80 volt max uh, trimmer. First thing you want to do is take the battery out, press that button, pull it out. Here I have the 80 volt max 5 amp hour battery. It's the same battery I use for my lawnmower, so when I'm finished cutting the grass, somebody told me this is a finishing tool, you, you use the weed eater after you cut the grass, but I'm here at both school. First thing you want to do is line up the hole. You need to turn this thing here. You see that? You want to turn it to where you can see. Not to go backwards. But you can see the little hole. You can see it, and then you just you can see the hole in there. So when you push it through, hopefully it comes out the other end. Sometimes you have to mess with it. You see it right there. It doesn't want to come. It doesn't want to come. So if you rotate the wire sometimes and give it a couple of good pushes, no, it's not wanting to work for me. So. Maybe I'll turn it a little bit. No. It's not, always, it's not always super easy. Let's try pushing it in through the other end. Push it in through this way. See if it comes out the other side. No, it's still not coming out. You can see it though right there. So if you had like a little knife or something, you could make it come out. That's the problem I'm having right now. Maybe it's not lined up exactly right. Turn it a little bit. Let's see and try again. Push it through. You know, don't force it, but you, you'll feel it when. Oh, there it comes. See? Now you come out, zoom out, Jay. Get back up a little bit. You want to have it to where it's about equal. When it's about equal, then you can start winding. And if you look at this, it'll tell you which way to turn. But mine's worn so much it doesn't tell you anymore. So I got, I got to kind of guess. I'm gonna guess this way. So if you push in a little bit when you're turning, you can see it's feeding in. So you just keep turning until it sucks it all the way in and then we'll see how we look sometimes it's not exactly equal like now you see it's a little bit too long but it'll cut i think they used to have a little thing i don't know it doesn't have a little thing maybe this model doesn't have the uh cutter blade i'm gonna turn it in one more time and now it should be good oh, it's still a little bit too long Pull it in one more time, now we're good. Now then you put your battery in. Slam the battery in here. And you're good. You can hear it hitting. So, I mean, it won't take long. You know how weed eaters work. And, uh, the, you know, you hit the concrete and it chews it up a little bit. See if you can get me doing it, using it, Jack. See if you can zoom in here. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. We all think. Right, back up some hit it. I'm a, I'm a lot short, so I have, sometimes I have a hard time, you know, using it like this or like this. Or, you know, I hit it like this. You have to hit this button and hit this button. So being short is not good for this. I thought I was going like this. Well, it has two speeds, a one and a two. Right now, I'm using it on full blast. I, I like I like power. I don't I don't use the uh, 
economy setting on my car either. It has the bump, the bump feed, the bump feed technology. It's been working pretty good for me lately. You know, they always sometimes have issues, but this is pretty good. to my channel smash that thumbs up button for me and all that good stuff and i'll see y'all next time it's johnny v from hot new orleans area summer 90 degrees and humidity is high see y'all next time peace